Wow. Shit on, you're so bad. Oh. Yo, 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 what's going on, internet people? It's your boy, Connor Crawler, coming at you guys with another gameplay. And uh, I actually have two games for you today. Both of them are using the TAC Evolver. This is absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, the best gun in Warzone right now. I've been saying that there's a lot of lulls in, like, the long-range fights and everything. This is the move, I am telling you. In one gameplay, I was running something... I was running this build right here. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't with this stock. It was with the recoil stock, and I was running the uh, Spitfire Suppressor. Great build. Very, very solid. And this was the first build that I made with it. Again, you can see it doesn't really have any recoil whatsoever. Just a straight beam. It, this gun gives me a lot of vibes like the C-58 from uh, Verdansk back in the day. I don't know if anyone remembers that gun. It was an assault rifle, but very, very solid. But the new build that has come onto my radar is you remove the underbarrel, you remove this stock, and you replace it with the Kill Nova stock, and then you run high grain rounds. And if you want, you can even take off the sight, if you like the iron sight, and you can run something like uh, 1 milliwatt or the PEG 4 box, whatever. Either one of these works, but look at this aiming stability. The gun simply does not move whenever you shoot it. Now, I know you may be tempted to build it out for recoil just so it really doesn't have any recoil at all. I am telling you guys, this thing does not move. Do not build this thing for recoil control. Build this gun for aiming stability. It is the biggest thing that you can do for this gun is just make it so the gun does not visibly shake whenever you shoot it. It doesn't really matter what sight you rock with it. You can really use whatever sight you like. But I am telling you, this gun is absolutely broken in nearly every regard. It just doesn't move. It does absurd damage. You can rip people off head glitches. Give it a shot. I was also running the Ram 9 in today's gameplay. The Flash Hider. The Broom and Heavy Support. 50 round mag. The Pulley Comb uh, for the comb. And then the Hunker 5 stock pad for the stock. This is also an absolute beam, but the highlight of today's game is definitely going to be the Evolver. This thing is very, very solid. You can't tell because I suck. I just got knocked out of a tourney, so I'm shooting squiggles. But I'm telling y'all, this thing right here, absolutely insane. Give it a shot. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Evolver. Is it OP? Is it not OP? Is it just right? Let me know. I'll see y'all in the very, very next one. Peace. Or if I'm like Nadia, or like if I... If, Nadia is obviously bigger for fucking a whole slew of other reasons, but God damn the MCW sucks. But it's like if I'm if I'm a big female streamer or whatever. I would probably disagree with a lot of what I'm saying because I don't benefit from it. Because like if you're, if you're a well-established female streamer and you've grinded your way to such a point, you worked really hard for it, you don't want anyone fucking up your bag, right? But at the same time, like I don't think that it should be a gendered game and I think it should literally go off of who is better. And the only reason that the game becomes gendered is because people will literally actively exclude females from playing, which is just silly. Because it's like, dude, if you're a guy and you get beat by a girl, yeah, you got beat by a fucking girl. Who gives a fuck? But, like, that just hits so many people and, like, such a delicate area for them that it's, like, they're scared of competition. And, like, and like that, that part is really annoying. And, like, people that have, like, good-sized fan bases who, like, they can do this. Like, it's not like they're, like, fucking, like, loaded or whatever. But, like, they can make, like, they make enough to, like, live full-time off of streaming. You know? 
make enough money to live full time off of streaming a video game, but their fan base still isn't big enough to get an invitation to even like a twenty thousand dollar tournament. It's crazy to me, bro. When literally I'll watch them play and they'll smoke a good team out in like round one. Smoke out a good team in round one. And all the fucking work that they did to like get a big name personality player, streamer, whoever. All the work that the tournament organizer just put in to do that. They just got knocked out round one by someone that you almost didn't even give a spot to. It's crazy, dude. It's actually crazy because I. It just sucks because I want COD to be a competitive game, and then they actively do everything they can to make the game as least competitive as possible, and it just doesn't even help when tournament organizers are just fucking over people just for like opportunities and stuff. It's just silly. It is just silly. I'll get off my soapbox, though. Inbound. I'll get off my soapbox because I'm kind of just reiterating the same points, but the, the one other thing I will say though, I know I said I'm getting off my soapbox, I'm getting back on it, fuck it. One other thing that I will say though is like it is kind of frustrating too because I have to really tiptoe around what I'm saying when what I'm saying isn't bad whatsoever. But it's just like, dude, if you say anything that could, like, possibly be perceived as disparaging to whoever. Like, I mean, like, I, it's just one of the things where it's like, bro, you know how easily what I'm saying right now could be clipped out of context if I didn't say it, like, just right? I think literally the only saving grace is the fact that, like, I know some of, the, some of these people, you know? It's literally just the fact that I actually know them. And it's like, oh, yeah, no. Let me see the whole clip before I can make a decision. At least I would hope that's what it would be. I don't fucking know. Maybe I would just instantly get thrown to the fucking wolves. Who fucking knows, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, no, that was uh, Avidity. I actually used to play with her back in, like, Black Ops 4. I think I played with her in like Black Ops 4, dude. I remember I used to play with her. My buddy, my buddy Parker told me not to because she was fucking weird. You know, like we get home, fucking whatever. I get back home. <laughs> I check through and I'm like, oh shit, dude. Some shit's going down, you know? I check my mom, I'm like, yo, shit's going down on Twitter, right? And the first thing I remember is my buddy Parker. His name is at Lord Punk on Twitter. I just remember him telling me like Black Ops 4, like, yeah, nah, dude, don't uh, don't associate with that girl. I, she's just fucking weird. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, I, I can't tell you, but like, something's off with her. Like, she just seems fucking weird, dude. And it's also funny because she literally admitted, <laughs> literally admitted to embezzlement on the TL. It's just funny. It admitted to embezzlement and then said, sorry, I won't do it again. Okay, okay bro. Yeah, what's going on, big dudes? How you doing, man? Chad, it's not the gun. I just suck. Chad, this gun kind of reminds me of... Uh... All bounty targets Shit. Destroyed. Hell of a job. Chad, who played Verdansk in here? I'm off the shits right now. How are you? <laughs> what do you mean you off the shits, bro? God damn. Fucking recon drone, dude. Oh, you're drunk. Okay. Whoa! Holy shit. Can I refund those, bro? I don't want to take your money while you're drunk, Biz. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yo, thank you, Biz. <laughs> he said, shut up. 
Yo, Viz, I appreciate you, my man. Thank you. Requesting recon flyover. anymore like so I appreciate you homie gotta do what you gotta do though yes sir man nah dude you're, you're a cool guy bro I appreciate you for this thank you man Seriously. You know, man, it's not even like it's been like bad, bad, but it's just like, you know, having to like dip into savings or whatever. Just have to like, oh my god. That's really like a DG56 or something. Request and recon. The fact that he cracked me is kind of wild. If you haven't as well, please hit that sub button. Not a Yeah, chat, we're actually kind of having a decent game. <laughs> Fuck it, we have no idea. They're back over here by the balloon, actually. Fuck it, we're going back. Fuck it, who cares about pacing? Yeah, this lobby died anyways. It's not even going to be that good of a game. Should have popped that UE, but who gives a fuck about anything, you know? Oh shit! Alright, dude, this thing kind of, this thing kind of wall bangs, no bullshit. I like it.
need to clear this guy before I do anything, really. Wow. Whoa. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, nah, Lobby, Lobby just died, bro. Like, literally, I had, like, 22 with 20 up, and then I just hit a dumb Roto. All right, let's clear this guy off top. Gas moving in. I mean, bro, you're just so bad. That is criminal. Are you that bad at a video game, dude? Oh my god, dude, so bad. Why did he not have the MTZ556 out? Closing in, relocating the safe zone. Like, bro, why did I just drop to 50 frames? I don't know about y'all. Maybe y'all can make some sense of that, but it ain't making no sense over here to me, bro. Not even yeah, un poco out. sense.
criticize it like that. Wow, that was bad. The enemy is no longer tracking. You lost him. Gas is closing in. Get to the new safe zone. Clown, what a clown chat. Oh my god, I hate that this is a meta. I hate that this is a freaking meta, dude.
keep them on their feet, chat. It's gotta be someone like wide right, too. Oh, yeah, there's a guy all the way over there. God, dude. Oh, what a game. What a game just to try.